Today we're going to be checking out the Logitech Litra Beam LX streaming light. This light isn't only going to be made for streamers, it's also going to be made for content creators as well who just need to improve their lighting. So when you open this box, the first thing you're going to get is the instruction manual printed on the front side of the box here. And then inside of the box, you're going to get this box with all of the accessories, the actual light itself, the pole that the light mounts onto. And then last but not least, we're going to get the actual base of the stand that the pole mounts onto. And then we're also gonna have this power adapter that comes with an adapter for United States based power outlets. Okay, so that was quite a lot of things. So let's actually go ahead and assemble this and then we can go ahead and talk about the look and feel of this light. So the first thing we need to do is get the pole and attach it to the base. Once it's in, you just spin this part on the back until the pole tightens onto the base. Once everything is tightened, it's gonna be firmly on here and you can actually set it down. And then the next thing we need to do is mount the light onto the top of the pole. And there's gonna be a little bolt here that allows for us to connect the light part to it over here. All right, and here we have the light fully assembled. And as you can tell, it is gonna be fairly large about the size of my upper body here. And the light is definitely gonna be pretty long. So it will be able to take up most of your monitor space. There's gonna be a few ways you can adjust this light. One is you can go ahead and adjust the angle of the light by simply propping it left and right like that. And then if you wanna adjust the height, you just simply pull on it and it will extend. So whether you have a small monitor or a large monitor, this thing's height can adjust to pretty much go behind your monitor and provide for a nice glow onto your face. And I will say the build quality of this thing does feel very nice. It is gonna be made fully of plastic. I don't really feel anything metal here. This part here, the surface is gonna be plastic, plastic, and the base is gonna be plastic as well. However, I will say the base is super heavy. I feel like there's metal inside of here and that's gonna give you a lot of stability when it's actually sitting on your desk. That way it's not gonna fall over or shake when you're just using your keyboard or your mouse. And this light can be used in two different ways. You can have it screwed into the bottom like we demonstrated here, or you can screw it in vertically by using this screw here and mounting it onto the light up here. And then you can see it is complete and you can really go for that bar look that you see in some YouTubers setup where it's kind of like sitting in the background like this and there's a RGB light going off, which I think that look, cool look looks really cool. So you can definitely pull it off with this light here. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this light on. And the way to do that was we run the power cord to this little port here, plug it in. And then what you do is you run this cable to through the channels here by plugging them in like so. And then Logitech was kind enough to also include some little uh, clips here that hold the USB-C cable. Once you have these two plugged in, you can now move to the other side of the stand and run the cable down through the stand channel over here. And once it's in, you can see the cable is gonna be hiding behind the pole, which is gonna create a nice and clean look. Okay, so we have everything plugged in. Now let's go ahead and turn it on by pressing the power button. And wow, you can see these are some very bright blue lights. So before we get into covering how the light shines, I wanted to cover the buttons that are on the light real quick. So the first button here is gonna be the power button. This is pretty straightforward. You press it and it turns off and that's depending on which what the switch is. So if it's up, it turns on and off the main key light. And if you point it down and press power, it's gonna turn on and off the accent light that goes onto your wall. So this light is designed to have a background light as well as the key light. So we'll go ahead and turn the main key light back on. And if you wanna adjust the brightness, all you do is you flip the switch up or down depending on what side you wanna adjust. And you go ahead and do minus to bring it down and then positive to bring it back up. And then this here changes the temperature if you're changing your main light. So here it can get more yellow or more blue and you can kind of adjust what the hue is gonna be like. And then if you wanna switch the actual RGB light color, you move it down. And then by default, you're gonna have some different presets. You can see you have like reds, blues, greens, purples, RGB cycling colors, all that. And all of this can be tuned in the software. And then the final button is gonna be Bluetooth mode. If you don't wanna plug in the USB-C cable, you can go ahead and do it wirelessly. For the purpose of this light test, I'm gonna turn off my main studio light here. And you can see it got really dark and you guys can kind of see what this light acts like standalone without any additional assistance. So we'll go ahead and hit the power button for the key light and 
and you can see it's doing a pretty good job at lighting up my face. And we are on the brightest setting if I move it all the way down. This is gonna be the lowest setting. And then what else you can do is adjust the temperature. So right now this is kind of like the bluest mode that it can get into. And then it also can get into a more yellow mode if you want a more warm look kind of like this. So we're currently using the side of the light that's facing me. Now let's use the other side, which is meant to go against your wall to give your setup like a cool look and have all these colors going for it. So let's go ahead and flip the switch on. You can see we have this very cool looking blue color and this brightness is turned all the way up. So we can go ahead and flip between the patterns. Here's like a RGB kind of mode. Here's a red mode. Here's a pinkish mode, green, another red, orange, blue, and a lot of different variations. And this all can be tuned in the software to give you much, much more settings. And let's go ahead and hop on the computer to show you exactly what that looks like. So once you install the Logitech G Hub software and plug the light in, you should get a screen that looks like this that shows the light. So when you actually click onto here, you're gonna get a light tab over here as well as a light sync. So the light tab is gonna be this primary key light that shines on your face. This light you can have settings like activate when the camera is on. So if your camera is turned on, the light will automatically turn on. And then if your camera is off, the light will automatically turn off. That's a nice feature. So there's not always this big light shining in your face. Here are some presets that are based on how cool or warm the light is. And then here you can set the temperature manually if you wanna customize it yourself. And then you're also gonna have a brightness dial to adjust how bright you want the light. All of these light settings can be customized without the software. You can do them on the light itself like I demonstrated earlier. And then at the bottom, you can see what type of camera you wanna use as your primary camera. And then we switch over to the light sync tab. And this is where you can customize the background color of your light. So firstly, we can customize how bright or dark it is gonna be. And then you can also do some presets. So for example, if you like a fixed color, you can go ahead and do that and you can see this nice blue bar and that's kind of what the light is glowing like right now. It's a little hard to capture the exact color on camera, but that's what it is in real life. And you can go ahead and customize this to be a very specific color that you're going for. You can also have some preset patterns like a breathing mode where it kind of pulses on and off. You have color cycling where it just cycles through all of the colors color waves, where it kind of shows all of the colors at the same time. Screen sampler, this is just kind of kind of mimic what's on your screen and the light will try to copy those colors. So that's gonna be a cool effect if you really wanna feel immersed in whatever movie or game you're playing. And then we have audio visualizer where it will change colors based on the sounds coming out of your computer. So the software is pretty robust and you can really make this thing shine exactly how you like it. And I really like the key light and RGB light combo here. So if you put this behind your monitor, it's going to create that really cool effect where it serves two purposes, gives you nice lighting on your face and on your wall, it's going to have like a nice color to really give off a cooler gamer vibe or whatever vibe you're trying to go for. So that being said, if you're interested in this light, be sure to click the links down in the description below to learn more about them. With that being said, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.